are you? My name is Chris Timothy. I'm a sophomore marketing major, business administration minor from Macon, Georgia, and I go artistically by prophecy. And on this planet, I think I'm here to create, I would say. I think it's a responsibility that I've given myself. Uh, and with that, I take it very seriously to put specific messages out to affect people in specific ways. I'm not the kind of person, the kind of artist to just speak and say and do whatever and not worry about who it is I'm affecting. And once I decided to go that route, I felt like that was my purpose, to keep doing that, to keep creating, to keep putting those positive messages and that positive energy into the world. The Black Lives Matter movement and COVID happening at the same time when I was like 17 um, really changed the path I think I thought I was going to be on. Um, and I needed some way to cope with that, which is how I got into music and how I got into fashion. And when it was then that I decided when I was going to create, I was going to create something that helped the people who supported that creation. I grew up with parents that were very supportive. Like obviously from young, they have a vision for you of um, just wanting you to be successful, wanting you to be educated and whatnot. Um, but as I started to kind of deviate and they could see my creative spirit, my entrepreneurial spirit, they were all behind me. Um, and they, they invested their time, their gas money, um, their money, money, and sending me to college and all of that. And um, the things that they've learned and experienced in life and instilled in me uh, and, they, and they got me here. I would say my parents is like number one. And then the people I've met along the way, I have best friends from, from kindergarten, from third grade, who have really stuck with me my whole life. Before I was doing anything related to business or even having an idea of what I wanted to do, they were there just as friends and as support systems and as somebody I could always come to when I needed it to get this confidence, to get this um, security in my life, to really take that dive and do what I'm doing now. Uh, I have to thank, thank them too. And um, people I've met here at Howard, who there's some people that treat you like they know you their whole life from the first day you meet them. And, and some of that is genuine and I keep those people around me too. Uh, I would thank all of them and I would have to say they are a huge part in, in getting me where I'm at. I did a lot in 2022. I'm actually very proud of my, my last year. Um, I did my, I went from doing my first open mic ever to doing like seven and some of my first shows and performing at Homecoming and all of that. And then my brand was less than a year old at the start of 2022. I went to sell in like 20 states and do multiple pop-up shots for the first time. And just uh, building on everything I told myself this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I made that decision at the beginning of 2022 and I stuck with it. And um, I kind of just jumped in the water and let go of that fear of saying that that was my dream. Because for a while I was scared to be like, yeah, that's what I want to do. Because it doesn't sound traditional. It doesn't sound like something that should work, but it could work. And I know it's going to work because that's what I want to do. I want to be the best version of myself. And for me, what that looks like is, um, continuing to expand um, as a creative. I think every time I come to a, to a boundary, to a block, um, in any of my avenues, I just start a new one. And I wanna keep doing that. I, I, do, I do music, I do fashion, I do poetry. I wanna do public speaking. I want to, I wanna do movies. I wanna do all of it, cause that's, that's just me. So when I look at my future, when I look at what, is, what does it look like at the end of my career, when I look back, it's all of it. And it's done in a way that I wanted to do it. And I would rather, you know, make those mistakes because you can't know everything, but I'd rather those mistakes be mine and it was a choice that I made than going a route that somebody told me was right for me and then I look back with regrets. All of it's going to be mine. Accomplishments, mistakes, time in, time out, it's gonna be me. I wanna become more of myself. My, my whole thing is defining yourself for you. So I don't think anybody's path is any more than being more of who you are. Because always there's gonna be something that 
holds you back even just a little bit from truly who you want to be, whether that's fear, whether that's um, peer pressure or experiences that make you apprehensive of going certain ways, that that's trauma for some people, that's the fear of not knowing for other people. Um, and I, I harbor some of that too. Um, I'm, not, I'm not beyond that as a person. So in this year and in, in years coming, I want to continuously break down those walls and become more of who I'm supposed to be, um, live more in my purpose, even more than I can, and um, be me. I have a lot of ambitions. I have a lot of things I'm already lining up in these first few weeks of the year that by May should come to fruition. And they're things I, they're things I haven't done before. They're, they're new things with new people and new experiences. And um, I know it's gonna get done. And it might not even get done in the way that I think it's gonna get done right now, but something is gonna come from it. And that something, with it being new and amazing, is something I take pride in looking into the future and being able to say, yeah, I did that. In terms of where I wanna start, I've already started. I started two years ago. Um, and just continuing on that journey is, I don't know if it'll ever really like stop, if I'll ever really be there. Um, because I'm one of those people that consistently tries to grow and do new things and try new things with the things that I love and always meet new people and work with them and whatever they love to do. How can I contribute to that? All of that. Um, I think that'll be a lifelong journey. But if there's truly a day where that's like said and done and I wrap it up, um, I have no idea when that's going to be because right now I can't even imagine not doing what I'm doing now forever.